Well, I agree, but the thing is that some entrepreneurs, they have no idea of the EIN only, startup business credit cards out there. So in today's conversation, what I want to do is I want to talk about EIN only, startup business credit cards, no personal guarantee, $1 million maximum limit. And we want to do a compare and contrast between Brex, Ramp, Stripe, and Amex. Don't go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as terrific as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, or tea, or vodka, and let's roll. In today's conversation, I want to compare and contrast Brex, Ramp, Stripe, and Amex. And those are four players that offer um, business credit cards with uh, EIN only for startups and very young companies okay and we love the fact that there there is no personal guarantee there is no collateral needed and you can actually get a one million dollars maximum limit it's very important to understand that when we speak about startups very young companies you not only have uh, the uh, criterion of age so for a startup this is a company that has been in operation for less than six months and a very young company is a company that has been in operation for less than two years okay this is very important and that the only difference is that uh, a startup is usually an entrepreneurial venture in, in search of enough financial backing to get off the ground so you have the idea you have the vision you have a lot of passion you have a lot of vision but <laughs> there is no cash or there's limited cash and uh and then uh you have uh a very young company that has a very viable business model so they have proof of concept so they are seen more favorably if you will by lenders and credit card issuers regardless of uh, the stage you're in right now I just want to reassure you that either you have a startup or a very young company you can qualify for an EIN only startup business credit card with either Brex ramp strap or Amex if you play the game correctly and I'm going to explain to you if you play the game correctly in other words when you apply make sure that you have your EI and application confirmation from the IRS they want to see your number you want to have business permits and licenses a business plan very important especially if you have no sales you got to have a business plan with forecasted with with some kind of sales forecast all right your financial statements for the last uh, three months six months two years one year right business tax returns if if available personal tax returns business licenses and perm um, i already said that but social media accounts yeah very important and some media mention if uh if uh, available everything helps at this stage okay so when we speak about um, ein only startup business credit cards we have uh, a trifecta you need to pay attention to in other words, there are three main categories of EIN only business credit cards for startups and very young companies. So you have uh, the fintech cards. So in today's conversation, three of the four are fintech. So Brex, Ramp and Stripe, they are fintech related, even though Stripe is a little more established. But yeah, you also have bank credit cards for uh, startups and very young companies. And then you have credit union credit cards for startups and very young companies. So you got to be very strategic in choosing the one that works for you. In today's conversation, we're not reviewing uh, any kind of a credit union credit card, business credit card for startups, but we will do this on another show. And what, but what I want to say is that in general, our preference will go to the credit union business credit cards, then bank business cards, and then afterwards fintech credit cards. Unless you have a solid business model and you want to grow fast, then you want to go with a fintech credit cards before we get into the actual nitty-gritty here one thing I want to say is that we do have a we have a reviewed a constellation of criteria when judging which uh, credit cards is best which credit cards which EIN only startup business credit card is, is best and we have looked at tens tens of uh, business credit cards and uh, the the result is that we believe that Brex ramp Stripe, and Amex offer a great combo 
of uh, business services and amenities that you need as a startup founder or the owner of a very young company. Please check out this short video. It tells you about our evaluation approach. We do have a rigorous approach when it comes to uh, categorizing, reviewing, and evaluating EIN only startup business credit cards on this show. Check this out. All right, let's get into the review here. First, I want to talk to you about the Brex Corporate Card for Startups. And this is a wonderful card, folks, really. We love the fact that there are no personal guarantees. So as a startup owner, you don't have to worry about uh, endangering your own personal credit. And uh, there is no credit scores needed. There is no security deposit required from founders, nothing at all. And uh, th so this card is best for startups and companies brimming with fresh capital, though. You got to have some cash. Because what uh, Brex does is that they actually want you to link your uh, accounting software to their um, their system. That way, they can control, they can monitor your uh, your transaction remotely. So if you if you have no sales, it might be complicated. If you have a little bit of sales, then it's fine. It, but the thing is, if even if you even if you have no sales and you are able to build a business plan, you are able to explain your business model. You are able to you are able to convince them of the viability of your uh, of your business model. You might get qualified. We have seen entrepreneurs in this country get qualified for a Brex corporate card for startups without sales. Okay, and uh, so what we love is that. Uh, the pros and cons of this uh, card there is no personal guarantee necessary great rewards for the right spending profiles and you have a solid portfolio of extra benefits what, what about the cons you have a stringent cash reserve requirements this card is targeted to, towards uh, a specific niche of companies and they require you to make Brex your exclusive corporate card to take it full advantage of its rewards package and now the reward package is pretty uh, pretty uh, interesting really uh, for example, if a uh, Brex corporate card for startups is your exclusive credit card, you can earn seven points per dollar spent on ride shares and taxis, four points per dollar spent on travel booked through Brex Travel, three points per dollar spent at restaurants, two points per dollar spent on recurring software purchases, one point per dollar spent on everything else. Okay, and if you opt into the Remote Collaboration Rewards program, you have seven points per dollar spent on collaboration tools. Three points per dollar spent on food de delivery, okay. Uh, two points per dollar spent on recurring software purchases. One point per dollar spent on um, everything else. And if Brex Corporate is not your exclusive credit card, you only earn one point per dollar spent on all purchases. So you can see that right right off the bat, they want you to really, really, really take advantage of uh, their card. They want you to use their card exclusively. There is a welcome offer though. This is a fifty thousand points and waived car fees for life, and this is equal to a five hundred dollars plus value, over fifty thousand dollars on credits and discount on sign up. So this is really really good. I want to talk to you now about the Stripe corporate card. So when we think about Stripe, we think about payment processor. We think we think about a constellation of services offered but offered by a, a very good company, right? Now, what about their corporate card? They, they are gazillions of benefits that you can qualify for so you can take advantage of uh, their uh, always improving partner benefits so you have amazon web services five thousand dollars in credits slack you can get 25 percent off for 12 months notion 50 percent cash back up to five thousand dollars you have zendesk six months free intercom three months free google ads 150 dollars in credit hubspot 40 percent off for the first year Airtable, $2,000 in credit for up to five users for 20 months. Carta, you have access to lunch and 20% off plus waived implementation fees. Gusto, three months free. Now, all the names that I'm listing here, if uh, they sound like a foreign language to you, you want to contact Stripe and ask them which uh, which benefits you might qualify for, okay? Because as a startup or a very young company, chances are you do have expenses and uh, it's always important to see uh, what kind of expenses will match 
what kind of uh, categories Stripe has that will match your uh, internal expenses. You also want to, uh, you, if you qualify, you can also get Gusto three months free, InVision three months free for InVision starter, Bench 20% off for six months, Pilot 20% off Pilot Core for six months, Jam two years free t uh, for teams under 15, Guideline wait for, you have wait fees for three months, Kaza 5% cash back up to $500 per month, Expensify 5% off for six months, Snap 5% cash back up to $5,000, and iPassword 5% 50% cash back up to $5,000. So you can see that with uh, Stripe, they have actually uh, negotiated very interesting uh, deals with uh, their partners. And this is pretty good. And we love the fact that, but they, we love the fact that Stripe is a very innovative company. However, to get started, you need to apply for a Stripe account. So there is no paperwork or personal guarantee required, but you need to have uh, a Stripe account. And you can get up and running with a virtual card in minutes, okay? and you have credit limits that grow with you. So your credit limit is determined by your payment processing and bank history, okay? And as your business grows, your credit line can too. And you you have branded with logo, you can brand your card with logo. So you upload your logo right from the, the dashboard to make your corporate card look and feel like your brand. This is wonderful. We love that feature with uh, Stripe. And you they also have a simplified rewards that scale so you can focus on your business, not on optimizing credit card points, and you will earn 1.5% cash back on every purchase across all categories. So you are effectively saving no matter where or how you choose to spend over time. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another section of the Awesome Street Kiwi Show. I'm still comparing and contrasting four players in today's conversation. So we have Brex, Stripe, Ramp, and Amex. I want to speak to you now about Ramp Corporate Card, okay? And uh, Ramp is, is another great company. We love the fact that when you look at their pros and cons, the pros, no personal guarantee necessary, which is great, which is always great. I mean, at least if I were a startup founder, um... This will sound like music to my ears because I'm limiting my uh, personal credit here. And they do have a simple and solid cashback rate and they have algorithm driven insights that can help you save money. Okay, what about the cons? Now, when it comes to a ramp, we have, we're not able to find clear eligibility requirements, but the card is designed for a corporate corporation size businesses. But what we've seen is that um, in the last two years, they have switched their niche a little bit. They have uh, switched their niche. They have uh, switched their business model. And now they are accepting also small businesses, including startups and uh, very young companies. And uh, Ramp itself is a very young company. The car just launched in February 2020. So you can see that they have not been around for a long time. So they can work with you. We love the fact that overall, overall, the, uh, they do have a welcome offer. So they have partner rewards and savings. There is no intro purchase APR. There is no intro balance APR. Of course, there is no foreign. Uh, I mean, the reason why there is no intro purchase APR, this is a charge card, folks. That means that you are paying off every month the balance you have on the card. There is no possibility to carry carry over balances here. Okay. And uh, there is no foreign transaction fee. That's good, especially if you are engaged, uh, if you travel a lot or your team travels a lot. This is kind of good to have. The rewards you have unlimited 1% cash 1.5 percent rather 1.5 percent cash back and uh the featured benefits that we love with uh ramp is that they have a reduced overspending via savings report so this is where the algorithm is fantastic it's really good and one thing you need to understand again before i close here please do not believe that you can carry over balances this is not a traditional business credit card it is a charge card OK, and that means, again, you have to pay your balance in full each month. So beyond the cashback rewards, you can take advantage of uh, up to one hundred and seventy five thousand in the form of exclusive partner rewards and a savings and a savings inside tool that aims to help companies find ways to cut costs and limit unnecessary spending. OK, so this is really good. You have to think about that. I want to talk to you now about Amex. <laughs> so when everybody thinks about Amex, American Express, we think about established companies, right? We think about sound financial statements. We think about very brilliant, uh, very excellent credit score. But lately, 
Amex has seen that Brax is eating away at uh, its uh, food, <laughs> at its pizza. So uh, Amex has counterattacked. So they have created something called the American Express Corporate Program for Startups. Okay, and uh, this offers the full option of uh, they they offer the option of full corporate liability with no personal credit score impact plus select benefits, rewards, and business tools that come with American Express card membership. So this is really good. When you have, a, when you have a Amex as a startup, when you enroll in, their, uh, in the Amex corporate program for startups, you can choose any combination of cards to match your different employees' needs. So you have the corporate green card, with an annual fee of $75. This is best for core employees and occasional travelers. You have the corporate gold card. The annual fee is $250 and benefits and features to help frequent business travelers take productivity on the road. This is kind of good, especially if you are a startup that travels a lot. If you're a startup uh, whose team members travel a lot, you have the corporate platinum card. The annual fee here is $550. Of course, you have to see if that works for you as a startup. And this is for senior executives and the seasoned travelers who want premium business travel benefits. Who knows, you might actually qualify for that, even if you're a startup, because some startups do have money. And uh, we also have, uh, you have to understand that you also have time-saving tools for smart founders. And so with the Amex corporate uh, program for startups, we love the fact that they have a constellation of uh, features that help startup startups and um, very young companies actually uh, take brilliant steps to manage their their expenses for example they have you can streamline expense reports with amex business app you can connect your spending report to your financial software and ditch paper receipt this is really good you can simplify supplier payments with automated payment solutions you can create virtual credit cards with uh, amex go okay so this is really good so overall what we want to say here is that uh when you sign up for the corporate uh, for the startup program in Amex, there is no impact on your credit score. There is no personal guarantee. There is no security deposit. Okay, you have uh, a dynamic spending capacity of up to ten percent of the balance in your linked business bank account. Of course, you have to link your account, and you you can you can get a decision in as little as uh, sixty seconds on your application, so you can get going on your next big idea. So folks, which one should you choose? So I've talked to you about Brex, Stripe, Ramp, and Amex. So the big question here is that it really depends on what you're looking for. It depends on the peculiarities of your uh, your startup or very young company. Uh, at the end of the day, you got to ask yourself, do you travel a lot? Does your team travel a lot? Okay, do you, do you entertain clients? Do you dine often? What kind of, uh, are you into software purchases? Do you spend a lot of cash on software purchases, right? For example, if you are a big traveler, then you might think you might want to think about Amex or Brex, for example, right? Are you into software? Then you might want to think about Strap or Ramp, right? What's important for you? One thing I want to say here is that all the four, the four fintech credit cards that we have mentioned today. They are, of course, EIN only, startup business credit cards, but they do want you to link your bank account. They do want you to link your business bank account to their system so they can monitor remotely your financial transactions. They'll give you the card, no questions asked. They wouldn't check your, uh, they wouldn't do a hard pull. They're not even doing a soft pull here, but they wanna, they wanna keep an eye on what's going on. So you have to pay attention to what's important for you. Now, all of them are also corporate charge cards, okay? In other words, you have to pay every month the full balance on the accounts. So you, this is the kind of conversation you need to have. One thing we wanna say here is that um, customer service is also very important. And we've seen, for example, that Brex has a strong customer service uh, model. Whereas uh, Amex has a weak one. I mean, Amex is kind of new to the whole thing. And uh, we believe that in the very in the, in the next few months, they will improve a lot. I mean, they're great with established companies, but with the startups, they're still uh, struggling in our view. And you also want to pay attention to uh, like in choosing which card works for you, how sophisticated you want the you want the reporting, uh, you want the reporting, uh, the reporting capabilities to be. For example, this is something you have to think about. All right. So this is something you have to think about. And uh, the last thing you want to think about is how many additional employees, how many ad additional employee cards can you get? This will also play a, a, play a big role in the kind of cards you get. 
All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. Our pick is Brex. So we have a score Brex 9 over 10, Strap 8.5 over 10, Amex 8 over 10, and Ramp 7.5 over 10. We believe that Brex corporate card is a great, is a great EI and only startup business credit card for, uh, for yes, business credit card for startups and very young companies. They do offer a wider constellation, again, in our view, a wider constellation of uh, features, of rewards, of uh, capabilities that will help a lot of uh, a lot of startups. So, Brex, good to go. Thank you. Thank you so much, folks, for your attention in today's conversation. I will speak to you another time. But before going, please remember to stay marvelous. Mm-hmm.